Good afternoon guys. We are departing Bozeman, Montana. Bit of a late start today. Uh, we checked out of the Hot Springs RV Park and uh, that was a wonderful stay. And then we had to run into Bozeman to go get a bunch of errands done. So yeah, it's like four o'clock and we are heading towards West Yellowstone down the Gallatin Gateway. I could be pronouncing that correctly or incorrectly. But it's about a 88 mile drive to West Yellowstone and we're just gonna lay up there. Uh, winter is nipping right at our heels again and there's some more weather moving in in a few days. So we're gonna be uh, pushed to drive through Yellowstone tomorrow. Uh, there's also no places to uh, camp in Yellowstone this time of year for a rig our size. So yeah, you know, we know that these are gonna be our challenges and we're willing to work around them. Another really big bummer is the place I was planning on camping on our way out of Yellowstone's called uh, Upper Teton View or something. It's on Campendium and it looks amazing. I think like everybody who's uh, used Campendium has reviewed this little uh, free camping area. Over the next five days, they're calling for anywhere from uh, 15 to 30 inches of snow. So that's what we're faced with there. So we're gonna now have to push a little further towards Jackson and reevaluate our plans. But we knew this was all, you know, part of the risk of RVing through this part of the country this time of year. So today, we want to talk to you about what has being YouTubers done to us and for us. Making YouTube videos on a very regular basis, it has pushed us to actually be more active and to go do things. Yeah, if you haven't figured it out already, we don't like just doing boring vlogs sitting on the couch talking about stuff. We are on a drive. Yeah, it's about an 85, 90 mile drive today, but you know what? we are gonna to talk to you about a subject and give you something to take away from this video. In terms of being more active and doing things, it has really pushed us to like go, hey, there's a museum, let's stop there, that looks cool. And it's really led to a lot of uh, spur of the moment, ad-libbed adventures that we love and we really do love sharing them with you guys. You guys are definitely the best part of the YouTube channel for us, whether it's being able to meet you person when we're visiting a place near you, um, hearing about how our videos have impacted your life, hopefully in a positive way, and learning from you. And, you know, you guys make our trips better because you hear about where we're going and you make suggestions and give us tips and local insight if we're visiting an area where you're from that we wouldn't otherwise have. The interactions that we have with you guys have, have really enhanced the experience that we've had when we're out on the road in the RV or traveling to other countries and we absolutely didn't realize that this would be such a positive byproduct of doing a YouTube channel. Lastly, this YouTube channel has helped to motivate us to follow our dreams and passions even further and even faster. And the way we make videos, we make videos that make us happy, that show our real life. But when our last road trip ended and we went home to Alaska, a lot of you joined us on the first road trip. You may not have known Ben and Rebecca Alaska, so we also noticed that our views kind of went down during our Alaska period. And you know, that motivated me to make videos about us. And as long as we're true to ourselves and produce videos that make us happy, that's ultimately what matters. And the fact that we get to share all these experiences with you makes it even better. I know I said that was the last thing I was gonna talk about, but I just thought of something else. Producing these YouTube videos has given me immense respect for fellow YouTubers. Yeah, especially you guys that produce high quality daily vlogs. That is a very, very 
daunting task and that requires some serious dedication and props to you guys for doing it. I'm not sure, but this might be what I saw on all stays. All right, we went and uh, walked around West Yellowstone for a little bit and also checked to see if we could camp at that location and we cannot. I called the police department and they said, no, nope, we cannot allow people to camp just wherever they like. Uh, obviously the volume of RVers and travelers that come through here would make it a mess. I respect that. But I still don't want to have to pay to park for the night. She was nice enough to let us know about this uh, kind of, not truck stop, but it's more of a pull out truck rest area right up here about a mile out of town. So we're gonna hang our hats there for the night. Yeah. 